My name is Chaz Bohortigas. I'm from Los Angeles. I'm one of the original graffiti writers in the world. I started in 1969. I'm probably the longest writing graffiti writer in the world. I started in 69, but I'm one of the few that didn't stop. I bring a unique style from Los Angeles, and that is called the Cholo style. We bring our letters, which represent an army, a force, soldiers, shoulder to shoulder. We use all black letters, and we use the, is what we call Old English. It represents all of us. The difference between New York and the West Coast is that in New York, it's always about the individual. It's about the me, 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 the individual tag, using upper and lower cases. We represent the unit, all capital letters, and we form a roll call. It's always about the us in the graffiti. The reason I paint is because originally it came from anger. I come from the civil rights movement. We're ch being Chicano, Latino American, Mexican American wasn't respected. My culture was not respected, even though we've been there for generations, even, even before the Anglos came. Our culture in Los Angeles is all Spanish. Somehow I would see museums and we weren't were being represented. I found that graffiti was unique to my community, my neighborhood, and I would find ancient graffiti from the 1940s and 1950s in the tunnels down underneath the city. I had passion for that because it particularly spoke to me. Why? Because it was our words, our letters. It was our identity and our pride. I wanted to do that too. I was fortunate enough to be invited here to Rome to be part of this uh, Across the streets, art. This is my piece behind me. Maybe some people expect me to do, still do cholo letters, but as a mature man, my art has traveled with me. Now it has voice. If graffiti had a soul, what would it speak about? It would speak about its identity, its unity, it's about its dignity. That's what I wrote. I wrote here any drawn line that speaks, that speaks about identity, the unity, and the dignity. That line is art, and that's what this piece represents. Words now dance and sing. Graffiti is not about a statement. I want it to be able to speak. The locations, I'm, the location of my work is really based on a West Coast aesthetic, where I'm able to kind of spend the time where I really need to uh, investigate my work. If you spend six months on a painting, Eventually that painting is going to turn on you and the painting becomes the teacher. I, I live in that space. So I find that I'm able to work at home in Los Angeles, privately, and then expose my work internationally through the <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, and, and things like that, through the social media. That never happened before. So how, that's what got me here is to Rome. This piece belongs here in a public museum. That's what this piece is made for. Work has to function. If I'm in the streets, it's a tag, it's a bomb, it's a sticker. It's in a museum wall. This is my voice that speaks with the imagery with the other artists here. And their imagery is, is, my, is what they add uh, an image to my dialogue. It works together in the museum. It's important to bring street art into the gallery. Because in the real graffiti is in the streets. It always has been, it always will. But if you wanted to talk about its history, its intent, its purpose, if you wanted to sh show historical of how you, how you examples with other artists and other writers internationally, now combined with street art. The word street art, I'm not totally convinced. I like graffiti. Graffiti is an artwork you don't need permission but it's important to bring it all together here. So we could compare, it's not a comparison, but we all admire everybody's work all together. That's the future. And I'm very pleased to be in this show. If I had the money and uh, the time to do what I want, basically, I'm in that position right now. I am successful enough. I have a lot of freedom. Children are grown, houses are paid, everything is, is taken care of. I am doing the life that I've always wanted to live right now. That's great. That's everything. Thank you. Thanks Thank so you. much. Amazing.